Okay, so I've had a lot of things to think about. And um, to be honest, I feel like if you're going to watch this video, you must really like me. <laughs> but here's what it comes down to. I can't go protest right now. I've got three kids to raise. I can't really donate money right now because I'm broke as all hell. And um, I'm not really able to be a full advocate for my students right now because we're stuck at home with COVID. So I was thinking, what could I do? And it seems to me that one thing that I've learned, and it took me a long time to learn this, one thing I've learned is about my privilege. And I have a lot of people that I know out there that don't think that they are privileged or fall under white privilege. But guess what? You do. And if I can explain that to you, then maybe I've done something small here to explain how this works. And believe me, it took me a long time. I did not believe that I was privileged. Um, my parents divorced when I was 12. And when they divorced, they went bankrupt. And I lived in tiny, small apartments. And we had no money. My dad worked all the time. My mom worked all the time. And we had no money. And I had to get a job as soon as I was capable of it. And I had to work for my own money. And I had to get as best grades as I could so that I could get scholarships to college. And so when I would hear white privilege, I would be like, no, I, I don't have white privilege. I'm, I'm not privileged because I was poor. And I had to get over that poverty. And I'd also say, look, I'm Jewish. I'm not white. Well, guess what? All I need to do to become white now I'm white. Now I'm white. And if I want to even go further with it, all I need to do is change my last name, shave this beard off, and no one knows the difference. I might be Italian. Okay? Doesn't matter. Change my last name to Lewis. And I'm Gabe Lewis. No one knows that that's a Jewish person. I'm not wearing this. So that's the first thing. Is that... When a cop pulls me over, I look white. And this became very clear to me when I was driving downtown on July 4th, uh, three years ago, I think, 2017. My family and I, it was still married at the time, were going to Fort McHenry. We'd never been to Fort McHenry before. And I thought to myself, July 4th at Fort McHenry sounds like a good idea. So we're driving downtown and I'm on Baltimore Street and I'm turning from President Street onto Baltimore Street. And I turned right, or maybe it was Fayette, I can't remember. Fayette or Baltimore Street. No, it must have been Fayette because Baltimore is the other way. So I turned right onto Fayette, right by the Baltimore City Police Station. And I turned right on red, which I did not realize there was a no turn on red sign. So I turned right on red, and I got pulled over. Policeman comes over to the minivan that I'm driving with a Baltimore County license plate number and looks inside the car and sees me and my ex-wife and three little kids and says, sir, what are you doing? You Did you know that there was a no turn on red? And I said, no, officer, I'm sorry, I didn't. And he looked at me, he looked at my ex, he looked at the three kids, and he hands me my license back and says, well, be more careful, sir. There's a lot of people driving around uh, in, in Baltimore City today. And I thanked him, and I drove on, and I thought to myself, that would not have happened if I were black. That's white privilege. White privilege is that I get treated differently because I'm not black. White privilege has nothing to do with whether or not I owned slaves or my ancestors owned slaves. My ancestors and I, my, my ancestors from both sides of my family were in Europe during slavery. But that doesn't matter. Because all my ancestors had to do when they got here was drop their accents, change their names, and they were white. And yes, things were bad for Jews in the 40s and 50s and 60s. Not as bad as for blacks. Okay? Not as bad as for African Americans. Jews are being oppressed today around the world. Yes. But not like African Americans in this country. Okay? It's been 400 years of 
for 400 years that people have been raped, murdered, lynched, sold like human chattel, denied education, denied land ownership, denied the ability to buy a home in any neighborhood that they would like to, denied equal education, denied, 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 beaten, lynched, raped, murdered. And no, I am not going to sit here and apologize for black-on-black -black crime. That is not my job. I'm not here telling you everything in the black community is perfect because I don't know anything about that. I know about this guy. I know that I'm privileged. I know that when I go out walking, I don't fear for my life. I know that when my African-American friends come visit me and they walk home, I worry about them walking down the street. I worry about my friends every day. I worry about my students every day. Every day. And you don't know some of the horror stories that I know. And I don't know half of the horror stories that are actually true. But I know that that's not my life. And I am really lucky that that's not my life. But that is the life of every African-American person that I know that they need to think about leaving their house and walking down the street. That's white privilege. And if you are a white person, you are privileged no matter what you think. And if you look at the people who are out here rioting right now and think, that's terrible, how could they, how dare they riot? Rioting is never good. You know what? Rioting's the least of our problems right now. And people are angry. And I'm angry too. <laughs>